The most common form of scoliosis is idiopathic scoliosis. And idiopathic means we don't know what causes it. But to date, there's probably genetic contributors for scoliosis, so scoliosis can run in families. That's part of my discussion as patients graduate from my practice, that if they have scoliosis, their, their children someday are at future risk of developing scoliosis as well. Basically, once a small curve has started, it's a growth phenomenon. So there's uneven pressure on the growth plates in the vertebra of the spine. And what starts out as a slightly wedged vertebra as the child grows can become more and more and more and more wedged and the spine spirals around. So a lot of our treatments are focused on trying to reverse this process and to take pressure off the wedged vertebra.